Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to demo the new Kobo tablet, which can be used for backing up your seed phrases and storing them in a safe and secure place. So let's get started. All right, so today I'm going to demo the Kobo tablet, which is a device that you can use for backing up your mnemonic phrases. These are the backup phrases that you're given when you set up your cryptocurrency wallets. These are 12 or 24 words which you write down, uh, or in this case, you'll store with metal letters in this metal case. So a very good, safe and secure way to store your cryptocurrency backups. So, uh, but a lot of people don't quite understand the importance of a mnemonic seed phrase. So basically when a wallet gets created, when a cryptocurrency wallet gets created, like the Electrum wallet or a hardware wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor, a 128-bit number is generated, a long random number. Now this is going to be your private key, or this is how your private key starts, right? It starts with this long number, there's a checksum added, and then it's split into little sections, and then they use a table to look up these words. These English word list, uh, or 2048 words, are part of the BIP39, which is the Bitcoin Improvement Protocol 39. So it's a standardized list of words. Now once those words are generated based on your random key, you get a bunch of them, uh, 12 to 24, and then you're asked to write them down. So a lot of people don't quite understand what this is all about, but this is a human readable format that is easy for us to write down and use if we need them. All right? Now the cryptocurrency wallet just sees them as a bunch of bits and bytes, right? And then it takes those words and then it combines them with another mnemonic called the salt, puts it through a bunch of mathematical transformations to generate an even longer seed. And this is the seed that is used as the basis for your wallet. Now from this seed, all of the separate cryptocurrency wallets that are held in this device are generated. So if we look here, we're talking about one seed which can generate multiple wallets. And in the case of say a ledger or a trezor, you've got one seed that generates a master key and then multiple cryptocurrency wallets can be generated from that. So you've got a Bitcoin wallet, you've got an Ethereum wallet, you've got a Ripple wallet, whatever it is, and then even from that, there are multiple sub wallets. So you could have several Bitcoin wallets in your ledger, but they're all dependent on this one seed. And if the wallet is damaged or destroyed, that seed can be used to regenerate all of these wallets because it's what's called deterministic, right? Every time we use this seed in this algorithm, it's going to regenerate the exact same wallets every time. That's what's good about backup, right? So also I'd like to point out that the slots for each word only hold four letters. And the reason this is, is because only the four letters are unique, right? The words can be longer, but the computer only needs the first four letters. That's what makes them unique. 
So when you're restoring a ledger or a treasure, you start to type in the word, and then when you get to the third or fourth letter, it auto-completes and asks you if you want to use a particular word, all right? But some wallets require the entire word typed in. So in that case, you can go over to the BIP39 protocol, and I'll leave a link down in the description. And these are all the word lists. So it's more than just English words, but I'll show you the English word list. So like I said, it's 2,048 English words. So for example, you have stored ALCO, right? And you're expected to type in the entire word. You might need to look it up, right? It's A-L-C-O-H-O-L, but there's no other, there's no ambiguity. There's no other words in this list that start with those four letters. So you can feel safe that you're typing in the right word if you need to look it up. I only say this for certain wallets that require you to type the entire word when you're doing an import or recovery. All right, okay, so here's the website uh, where you can find out more information about the Kobo Vault. It's not very expensive. Great way to back up your mnemonic phrases and keep them safe. As I said, that's basically the key to all of your cryptocurrency. So you wanna choose a good, safe, effective, fireproof, waterproof, fade-proof backup for your cryptocurrency wallets. So if you got any questions about anything that I did during the video, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget, I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered right then and there. It's a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.